Uh, I wanted to get into Tisha as quick as possible and this was like the best route to do that. Mm. I wanted to try a new experience. So far, um, he has been setting us tasks and things and those tasks um, are like assessment for learning and stuff like that. So they tend to make you ask questions that you wouldn't really normally think about when you're just running around yeah. after the kids. Yeah. Uh, I want to do my teaching degree and then go on to be a speech and language therapist. Oh. I haven't thought yet. Yeah. <laughs> it's not I've had my yeah. life. Me neither. Since I was like seven. <laughs> I've always known what I wanted to do. Yeah, that's improved I see. It made me, made me more confident with all the kids. It helps you a lot. The working environment is very, very different. I've been to other special needs schools and this, I think this one, the staff, they're a lot more helpful. They're a lot more friendly. Like yeah. if, if something's happening, there's always someone you you, it's always, oh, you're okay, drop some help. I'm always emailing Ian, like, if, some, if, something's, if there's something's going on, and he's, he's always lovely in replying, and he doesn't seem to ever get bored of me asking questions and <laughs> no. panicking about something. We do, we do have a set timetable, but it, yeah. it depends on how the kids are. So today, most of our kids are really, really poorly, and they're just not themselves. So we, it's sort of more just making sure they're comfortable and looking after them. And so, sometimes they just need a hug rather than a literacy lesson. It's really hard sometimes to. Um, so a bit like robotic and professional and not have emotions towards them. The kids in my class are older. Some days are good, some days are bad. So Interesting. Okay. Yeah, I agree. Because it's different. And yeah. Different. Would you recommend an apprenticeship with CT skills? Yeah, yeah definitely. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to let you back to your job. <laughs>